Oh, yeah, so starting off first and foremost, I gotta go with my man, he's a hog, Joe Dumont. Oh, the hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. Hey, fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hello and good day everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. You know, for those guys of you who watch my show on a regular basis, you know that I always do my best to find topics that probably haven't been covered a million times before and it's so difficult because there are just so many channels out there. But there's one guy who's one of my favorite players of all time who I haven't covered that often, especially when it comes to the NBA Legends Explain videos. And the guy I'm talking about is Joe Dumars. And the only reason why I never did a video about him uh, with NBA Legends talking about him is because there are hardly no clips. But today, I spent hours searching for clips and I found enough to put together this video. So in today's episode, we're gonna see NBA Legends talking about how great was Joe Dumars. I would say enough of that blah blah. Let's get right into it. So the first player that I want to take a look at is Allen Houston. If you don't remember him, he was a great shooter, played for the New York Knicks, and also, of course, for the Detroit Pistons, played alongside Joe Dumars. Let's hear what he has to say. You got to remember, I had practice against Joe Dumars. Joe game. Dumars, Joe yeah. D. Yeah. So yeah. Joe, you know, was like a bulldog. I mean, low to the ground, had really good feet, and people probably good don't hands. know <laughs> that he, had, he was a really good tennis player. So no, Joe, I never Joe heard was that. a really good tennis player, so we had our practice facility in, in the Pistons, and he would go sometimes either before or after practice or workouts and go just hit tennis balls, you know, either with the owner or somebody else. Yeah. And I noticed that he always was like really good feet. First time I played, I, I wasn't even in that big 80s mix, but this is the first time I played at Detroit Pistons. This guy I look up to, Joe Dumas I look up to, I hit two shots in a row, timeouts called, Joe Dumas is walking by, Mr. Gentleman, nice guy to league, right into my gut. And I'm like, did you see what he just did? <laughs> yeah. And so he looks back, like, okay, you hit two in a row, you won't hit. That's real. That's not propaganda. <laughs> okay. What other? Was that mental? Was, was, was that mental? Was that mental or physical intimidation? It was That's both. Physical. <laughs> it was both. You don't hit it. It's a timeout on the play, honey. You walk into one bench, the other guys walk, and then he gives you a shot. Because you know no one's paying attention. I, I actually did that to you one time, but no. I, I don't think you felt it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, Here's a question. Did you make your third shot? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when we talk about the most famous teammates of Joe Dumars, obviously we talk about Dennis Rotman, Bill and Beer, but the main guy was Isaiah Thomas. And he has some pretty interesting things to say about his former running mates. I played with a guy who looked just as smooth as Devin Booker doing it, and his name was Joe Dumars. Backs in mid post, hands lick over to help. Behind the back, leave inside from a hard, great pass. He lays it up and in. Dumars, oh, what a shot. Dumars slices in for the basket. He's an offensive weapon like never before. Joe Dumars, take you off the dribble, play pick and roll. He can post you up. He couldn't jump as high as Devin, but man, they both had pretty sweet jump shots and they were killers. Joe in our era was known as one of the best defensive players out on the perimeter. A lot of nights, you know, he would have that tough matchup you know, whether it be Jordan, Reggie Miller, Sidney Moncrief, Joe would always have to take that tough matchup out on the perimeter. He was a great defender. Thomas up ahead, Dumars. Dumars takes it and hits it with the left hand. Isaiah Dumars, tie game. Behind the back to Isaiah, sideline right to Dumars, the rainbow goes, Joe Dumars. Detroit Pistons select Joe Dumars of McNeese State. And he filled it up. does nothing but the tremendous performance. I had seen him early, and I thought, God, this guy would go great with Isaiah. Is that a huge hoop or what? 
Joe worked his way into the lineup, smart enough to realize that the only way that he would get on the court at that time was to play defense. Dumars, probably the best defensive player on this Detroit team. Swipe by Dumars. Magic again, posting a great defensive play by Dumars. Jordan, knocked away by Dumars. Great defense by Joe. Team morale leader. He is the heart of this ball club, showing it again tonight. We had the so-called image of the bad boys. Joe was the gentleman basketball player. But if he got his back up, he was as tough a guy as I've seen in the league. Oh, my. There's some toughness. My name is Joe. I don't say much. I probably was a tough boy, <laughs> you know, but uh, I always felt that, I, you know, when it, when it was time to go to battle and time to go to war, that I would be there. I just wasn't the type that was going to tell you a whole lot about it. When Detroit was winning the championship, I thought he was a cornerstone of that team because he did so many things to make them better. Joe will never get the credit that other players will get because he never sought it. He never needed anybody to tell him how good he was. I was a big Michael Jordan fan. I used to hate Joe because he used to do well against Michael. But after meeting Joe and spending some time with him, I was sold on Joe Dumars. I love your game, Grant. In my eyes, there should be more Joe Dumars, not only in sports, but just in life in general. Detroit Pistons! are once again the world champions of basketball. Playing with Joe, the thing that always was crazy about Joe and I was the connection that we had out on the floor. I remember the first time it happened, I was coming down court, all of a sudden I hear, pss, 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 pss. and I'm like, are you trying to let me know you're open? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, there's 20,000 people in the building. And from that point on, every time that he was open, no matter what arena we were playing in, I had to train my ear to listen to pss, 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 pss. Fast forward, now we're here and I'm working at NBA TV and TNT and Reggie Miller comes in. Out of all these years that I'm, I've coached Reggie Miller with the Indiana Pacers, he said, Coach, I finally want to ask you this question. What was Joe doing when I would be guarding him and all he would say is pss, 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 pss. What did that mean? I said, Reggie, that meant that he was open and I'm supposed to throw him the basketball. <laughs> now, obviously, we know back in the day, Michael Jordan and Joe Dumars always had that great rivalry going on, especially because Michael Jordan always appreciated Joe Dumars for his sensational defense, which he will explain in the following clip. He thought well. I mean, he was very smart about his defenses. I think he approaches the game as trying to dissect his opponents and try to find weaknesses or try to force them to do things that they didn't feel comfortable doing, you know, and he introduced certain tricks to, to make me, you know, expand on my talents as an offensive player. I mean, uh, that's why I consider him the best. Everyone talks about their identity as the bad boys, but the baddest boys is probably their backcourt. The problem Joe Dumars had is he is cursed by the fact that he wasn't even the best guy in his own backcourt. Joe Dumars won an NBA Finals MVP. If you ask Michael Jordan who's the best defender, whoever guarded him, it's Joe Dumars. I covered Michael Jordan for years, and I can tell you nobody gave Michael Jordan fits like Joe Dumars. Jordan knocked away by Dumars. Great defense by Joe. Dumars stole it. 12-foot jumper. That's good. Great play by Joe. Drives around Worthy. Comes in deep. Throws it up and banks it in left-handed. Dumars, six out of nine. Dribbles around Worthy in deep. Stop. Eight-foot jumper. That's good. I don't believe what I'm seeing. He's just too smooth. In the 89 series against the Lakers, they put James Worthy on Joe Dumas. <laughs> now, James, don't laugh. Don't get mad because you know he cooked you even though you cooked us too. James Worthy having to guard Joe Dumars out on the perimeter. Magic couldn't guard him. Worthy couldn't guard him. So we just kept going to, to Joe and Joe got hot. He was hot throughout the whole series. I guess they found out like Joe Dumars was the real deal. Hall of Famer now. Joe Dumars. You know, as I told you in the beginning of the video, Joe Dumars was always one of my favorite players back in the days. And there are many reasons why. I actually feel that he is, he belongs in the top 75 uh, players of all times list. And I explain you why. Um, 
Joe Dumas was a great scorer, but the only reason why he never averaged like 25 points per game was because he had other players around him who could also score, so it was not his main goal. Basketball IQ told him, hey, let me try to fit in, let me provide my team with what they need. He had seasons where he averaged 20 points, so he was definitely a more than potent scorer. His defense, I mean, you saw it already in the clips, he was sensational, and there's a reason why Michael Jordan considers him to be the greatest defender he ever played against. But also, not only his basketball about Q, but also his humility, uh, humility that he was always willing to sacrifice stats in order to provide his team what they needed. I love those players. I love those team first players. And I think that's also the reason why many people overlook how great Joe Dumas was. So Joe, this video is for you. I have so much appreciation for you. And for you guys, let me know in the comments below, how do you think, how great was Joe Dumas? And I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.